In February 2015, the Hunter Local Land Service trialled the use of unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, as a tool for managing regrowth native vegetation. The trial was conducted to demonstrate to landholders the utility of UAVs for this purpose. Funding was provided through the State Government's Catchment Action New South Wales program. Farming technology is constantly evolving and more applications are becoming available. One of the new technologies that is being trialled and used more overseas and quickly becoming popular in Australia is unmanned aerial vehicles, also known as drones. Originating as small, remotely controlled gliders with cameras, this technology has quickly developed into highly powerful autonomous machines with multiple applications. The ability to fly accurate GPS controlled pathways, carry large payloads for long amounts of time and provide first person view from the vehicle's perspective has meant that monitoring and spraying has become easier. Large slopes, thick brush and any other hard to reach places are now easily accessible with the ability to approach from above. The vehicle being shown now is the Yamaha RMAX, which is a two-stroke petrol run engine with the ability to remain in the air for approximately 30 minutes with a payload of 25 kg. With the addition of autonomous flight option through GPS, flight paths can easily be repeated when returning to the site. This is very effective for monitoring and consistent respraying. The size of the apparatus is one of the biggest pros as it allows for a closer approach to the target. This provides a greater success rate with less drip of chemicals. The background of this trial is that landholders in our region have previously used um, full-size helicopters to spray their uh, more remote and inaccessible country. But using a full-size helicopter um, has had its issues with um, uh, off-target kills on remnant vegetation. The drones actually, the rotors are designed to um, push the spray down rather than out as opposed to a conventional helicopter which spins, um, sp spins the spray off in all directions. This just pushes it straight down at the target. The amount of chemical we actually put out was a lot less than we were expecting so um, then the landholders would have to spend less on chemical than previously needed. The following images clearly highlight the effectiveness of the UAV spraying by comparing the regrowth and blady grass that has been sprayed by the vehicle with the after results. The vehicle is reaching areas that would have previously been difficult to access. Avoiding obstacles such as other trees is more easily achieved with this small machine. Compared to the image captured by the UAV three weeks after treatment, it is evident that the target areas have been dissipated of all unwanted species. The target area is ready for grasses to be sown and the targeted rig growth has been eliminated. Yeah, the drone trial at Gloucester was uh, very interesting, especially when you turn up not knowing what to expect, um, how well it was going to work, all the um, in conclusions about that sort of thing, uh, it did show very good accuracy, especially when uh, placement of chemical in the field against um, the bigger stuff that just got to cover a whole paddock. But one of the positive sides for it would be the um, ability to do uh, small areas, small areas very accurately. Not everyone have 600 acres or 300 hectares a year to uh, spray where um, quite often people have uh, little jobs that this would suit down to a T. At the conclusion of the trial it has become evident that unmanned aerial vehicles are an advancement that could result in benefits for land managers. They provide the ability to access steep lands and hard to reach areas, fly below the canopy to access woody weeds and regrowth, approach targets closer and ensure adequate coverage. It also is a safer option, easier to reload chemicals and fuel, is more adaptable to condition and uses less chemicals. The capabilities of a drone, that trial was fantastic and um, yeah, it'll be really great to see, um, like not every producer would like it, but uh, there'll be a lot out there, especially the smaller uh, landowners that would suit them down to the ground.